Welcome back to this video tutorial. We can discuss about the bubble sorting program in this video. Okay, and before starting this, I suggest you to watch video 9 and 10 of this playlist. So now uh, we can summarize the bubble sorting technique here. And here we have an array with three different elements with indices 0, 1, and 2. Array name is A and three different elements are given here in this array and how to perform the sorting we need to compare the first two elements and here we want to perform this ascending sorting sorting in ascending order that means from smallest to largest we want to arrange elements in this array from smallest element to largest right so first start from this point compare these two elements okay then if these two uh, the second one is smaller than the first one or the first one is greater than the second one we can place this value here in this temporary variable and move this to this position and this uh, temporary value is placed back into this zeroth index position like this and we can increment the pointer to next location and perform comparison with these two here but these two are in the ascending order itself so we don't want to perform any swapping operation here okay so this is the basic principle of bubble sorting algorithm okay so what is the actual operation that is taking place here in this first location the a of one the value is placed here in this temporary variable then a of one is loaded with a of zeroth value then a of zero is placed with temporary value this is the principle or the uh, steps needed for swapping two elements okay so in general we can write the code for this swapping is temporary variable is placed with a of j plus one the location value from a of j plus one okay sorry value from j of uh, j plus one the location then j plus the one j plus one the location is loaded with value from j the location then j the location is loaded from temporary value that is the previous value available in j plus one the location okay so this is the general form for this particular swapping principle okay so this one is one form of uh, swapping now we can consider other one here this one is greater than this a of one to value 25 is greater than 50 so here we need a swapping okay we can perform the swapping like this also zero the value is placed here in temporary variable and we can shift this to zero position now this temporary value is placed back here into a of one like this temp equal to a of zero a of zero the value into temp then a of 0 with a of 1 the value a of 1 with temporary value so this form of swapping is also possible okay for implementing this bubble sort programming we can follow this second method of swapping okay that means i am going to use this particular form of swapping for implementing our bubble sorting algorithm okay so this general syntax for this particular swapping is temp is placed with a of j element right then a of j is loaded with a of j plus one element that is a of one element here then a of j plus one to look a of j plus one is loaded with the temporary value which was the value that is a of j right so after this we want to increment the pointer like this Okay, so this is one basic operation needed for performing this bubble sort and I am going to follow this particular method of swapping in our bubble sort program, right? Okay, so consider an uh, array with uh, total 6 elements. Array name is A and the elements are indexed like 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 5, right? Okay, so first compare uh, this zero, uh, 10 and 20 here this already in this ascending order so now we can increment this pointers without performing any sapping operation right so this pointer is updated here and this pointer is updated here 
right here also this 20 and 40 while well, comparing these two a of jth and a of j plus element these two are again in its sorting or ascending order so we don't want to perform any swapping operation we can increment the pointer like this this is incremented to this and this one is incremented to here now this form the a of j element and this form the a of j plus one element while comparing these two we can understand that this one is not in its ascending order because this 40 is greater than this 30 then what we want to perform we can place this a of j element to the temporary variable this one is placed here in this uh, a of j the location a of j plus 1 the value become a of j element now now this temporary value is placed back here in a of j plus 1 the location right now these much elements comes in its ascending order now we can increment the pointer like this and compare these two these two are in ascending order itself we don't want to perform further swapping right now we can increment the pointer but here the situation is different these two are not in ascending order so we need a swapping here how to perform the swapping a of j element is placed here in this temporary variable j plus one element is loaded back into j element then the temporary value is placed here in this j plus one position of our array a right now we can increment the point sorry but uh, in this case here uh, this uh, particular case this is the end of our array we have no other element to compare now okay so we can stop here our first iteration in the first iteration this particular element comes here this particular element uh, the largest element comes here uh, in the last location okay so in the first iteration at the end of the first iteration the largest element come here in the exact location right now we can consider one more property for implementing this bubble sorting suppose this is the array elements right so how many comparisons are needed in order to make the largest element in its uh, last location how many comparison are needed we need to compare the elements of this position with this position then that is the first comparison then we need a comparison from this position to this second comparison then element of this we want to compare with the element of this third comparison then element of this with this fourth comparison and here we need one more comparison so after finishing the five, uh, five comparison this 90 comes here in its exact position that means if we want to perform a swapping or comparison uh, if we want to perform the sorting in ascending order so at the end of the first iteration the largest element come in its exact position right so in the second iteration we want to perform the comparison up to this position because the largest element is already comes in its exact position in our previous iteration so we want to perform the comparison and swapping up to this position similarly in the next iteration we want to perform the comparison and swapping up to this why because at the end of the second iteration two elements come in come its exact position that means the two largest element here the 80 and 90 comes here in its exact position so in the third iteration we want to perform this comparison and swapping up to this so at the end of the third iteration the largest three elements comes in its exact position okay so repeat this how many times that means how many such iterations are required if there are six elements in our array then we need n minus one that is five iteration one two three four and five so at the end of n minus one iteration all the elements get uh, sorted and present in its exact location like this 
okay so using this principle or considering this particular principle also we can implement our uh, bubble sorting algorithm right so the first iteration okay so for starting we can consider the uh, limits uh, from this particular example how many elements are present here six so total how many iterations are required 6 minus 1. If n elements are present, then n minus 1, uh, 1 iterations required. That is 6 minus 1, 5 iterations required. Okay. So, and in each iteration, how many comparisons are required? This is based on the uh, formula n minus i minus 1. We need to perform the comparison up to n minus i minus 1. Why? Suppose, in this case, in the first iteration, i value equal to 0, right? So, at the end of the first iteration, the first element or the largest element comes in its exact position. And in the second iteration, we want to perform this comparison up to this position. Okay, and so and so. So, at first iteration, take the value of i as 0. So, number of comparison required is 5. Why? Here, n minus i minus 1. That is 6 minus 0 minus 1 equal to 5 comparison. Like 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 positions we need to compare. Values at 5 different positions we need to compare in our 0th iteration. That means i equal to 0. In first iteration with i equal to 0, we need to perform 5 different comparison. After performing this 5 different comparison, the largest element comes in its exact position. So, in the second iteration, that is i equal to 1, how many comparisons are needed? Total 4 comparison. Why? Follow this formula, n minus i minus 1. 6 minus, now i equal to 1, 6 minus 1 minus 1, that is 4 comparison. Check here. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, at the end of the second iteration, two largest elements, 80 and 90, comes in its exact position. So, in the third iteration, we need to perform the comparison swapping up to this. So, in third iteration, with i equal to 2, number of comparisons equal to, apply the formula, apply into this formula, n minus 2 minus 1, 6 minus 2 minus 1, 3 comparisons are needed. What are they? With, uh, value at this position with value at this position then after that value at this position with value at this position then value at this position with value at this pos position right so at the end of the third iteration three elements three largest elements come in its exact position so in the fourth iteration i with value 3 how many comparison required 2 that is n minus i minus 1 6 minus 2 minus, sorry, 6 minus 3 minus 1 equal to 2 comparisons. The value at this location with value at this location. After that, value at this location with value at this location. Four different elements come in its exact position now. Okay, so in the fifth iteration, with i equal to 4, number of comparison required is 1. Why? Here, apply the value of i in this formula, 6 minus 4 minus 1 equal to so, we need only a single comparison and uh, now we reach the number of or now we completed total number of iteration, the 5 iterations and the entire elements of this area get sorted in its ascending order. Okay, so this is the principle of our bubble sort. Now, we can implement the program code for this particular bubble sort and thus Okay, this is the program. So, here we have uh, iterating variables i and j and limit of the loop is n when a is the array with maximum capacity 10. So, it means we can store 10 integer numbers. And here we use this tap, uh, temp variable for supporting swapping operation. Right? How many elements you want in your array? This is a command and based on this we can specify number of elements you needed in your array. And based on that limit, we can enter the elements of your array. That is, n number of elements of your array. So, we can scan this. Okay, after that, 
we can simply display the array elements print of array elements before sort we can simply display this array elements right then how to display using this for loop for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus okay print of percentage d with a space comma the array elements are available at array a okay we can display elements a number of elements one after another right so after displaying we can perform the swapping operation how to perform total how many uh, swapping are needed total n minus one number of swapping and we can start indexing from zero okay i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus okay then for j equal to 0 and the limit how many comparisons are required we need n minus i minus 1 comparison then j plus plus right if and then we want to perform the swapping operation uh, only if this j element is less uh, greater than j plus one element if the two elements are not in ascending order then only we want to perform the swapping so we need to check the condition if a of j greater than a of j plus one right then we want to perform this dump equal to a of j then a of j with a of j plus 1 right then a of j plus 1 is loaded with the temp value right so this is the swapping steps we uh, discussed already that is if the uh, elements j and j plus 1 the elements are not in its ascending order perform this swap right so this is the uh, only steps required for our bubble sort how many uh, uh, iterations and number n minus 1 number of iterations are required and in each step how many comparison n minus i minus 1 comparison are required and Two, uh, two adjacent elements are not in ascending order then we want to perform the swapping if they are in ascending order this condition returns a false value then in that case we can skip this and increment the pointer to next to location right so now we can display the array after sorting again okay so here we can display this array elements after sorting right now we can check the result okay how many elements total five elements i am going to enter here three say uh, three seven two zero one and the array elements before sorting are three seven two zero one and after sorting zero one two three seven that means exactly in its ascending order right so this is the case of bubble sorting in ascending order one more suppose you are asked with sorting using bubble sort in descending order what we want to perform the only thing is we want to change this greater sign to less that means if the first element is less than the second element then we want to swap this then only we get the elements in descending order right so we can check that result also i'm going to enter five numbers and i'm going to enter elements like one two three four five so uh, look at here this is the input array one two three four five and the array elements in descending order 
form that is 5 4 3 2 1 okay so this is the case of bubble sorting okay thank you